Andre Joachim Fernandez is 24 years old. He loves drums, football, and Spider-Man. He is also a preschool teacher at Star Learners Child Care, taking care of more than 20 young children aged between 5 and 6. Yes, he's a guy's guy in the traditionally female-dominated world, this one being early childhood education. In Singapore, less than 1% of preschool educators are men. The Early Childhood Development Agency ECDA told CNA Women. The agency said there are currently 217 male educators in the preschool sector, and while the number has increased over the years, men are still a rarity. Indeed, when Fernandez was doing his child psychology and early education diploma at NG and Polytechnic, he was one of only two men in a class of around 20. The public still sees caregiving as a woman's role because many of us grew up watching our mums do it, said Fernandez. But I don't think caring for young kids has to be a woman's role. None of Fernandez's friends packed him for a preschool teacher. In fact, many of them were confused by his decision. Even Fernandez himself did not expect to veer in this direction. The music enthusiast had been in the school band throughout his schooling years. He plays multiple instruments, including the trumpet, French horn and drums. It was during musical performances at the Esplanade and shopping malls that he interacted more closely with young kids. Half the crowd at these performances are kids, and they would sometimes come forward and ask to try the drums. That was when I realized that I enjoy interacting with children. He said. When the time came for him to choose a career path, a friend suggested Fernandez consider early childhood education. And even though some friends and family pointed out that there were few men in the industry, Fernandez could not see why not. I'm a very jovial person and don't give a thought to what people think. I decided to work at a preschool because I love kids, he said. That was how Fernandez ended up joining Star Learners Child Care at One North in December last year. Today, as its sole male preschool educator, he teaches 23 children in the Kindergarten 1 and Kindergarten 2 classes alongside a fellow teacher. Although there were initially a few parents at the infant and child care centre who were concerned about having a male preschool teacher, the principal reassured them that Fernandez would not be involved in routine physical care work such as changing diapers and bathing the kids. As a general guideline, Fernandez also avoids hugging the kids or touching them. Instead, he gives them high fives or fist bumps when they go to him for hugs. He is one of five male preschool teachers across the childcare group's 43 centers. By and large, Fernandez said that society and most parents are now more accepting of male preschool teachers. A few years ago, people still thought that a preschool teacher should be a female. This perception is shifting a bit, though I think there is still some room for improvement, he said. Having young men like me and my peers choose this career helps to show the public that men can be preschool educators. Fernandez is not just a teacher, he is a friend to his charges, discussing superheroes, supervillains and their latest travel adventures together. He is also their resident DJ and musician. Sometimes, I will play songs in my playlist to them when we are playing musical chairs, especially if I had been listening to these songs on the way to work, he said. Besides children's songs, he also exposes the kids to different music genres, such as reggaeton, an upbeat Latin music genre that often features Spanish lyrics, as well as European music that has a carnival vibe. Sometimes, the music lover introduces percussion instruments such as the cymbals and tambourine to the children. He recently rallied the kids to use recyclable materials such as toilet rolls, milk powder tins, 
glass bottles and cardboard to create drums, shakers, xylophones, and chimes for a class project. The class had a wild time playing these instruments to rhymes and songs they created. The Star Learners curriculum includes language and literacy, discovery of the world, numeracy, social and emotional skills, motor skills, and basic life skills, such as how to button a shirt or work a zipper, skills that men can teach as well as women, said Fernandez. Moreover, he added that gender diversity gives kids the best of both worlds and creates a livelier learning environment because men bring unique qualities and their own teaching style to the table. Fernandez believes that early childhood education is a meaningful pursuit. The first five years of a child's life are very important. We are the first few responders to the child and need to ensure that he or she grows up well and makes his or her progress into primary school easily. So we need to be kind, loving and caring, he said. But Fernandez also doles out tough love where necessary, because it was a big part of his own upbringing. Both his parents gave him tough love, they were strict but also doted on him. Buying him toys, and ice cream, even when it was raining. I think I am a bit stern with my students sometimes, but not fierce. I teach my students what is right and wrong and how to be more independent to prepare them for primary school. I get them to eat by themselves, make their beds and put their own mattress cover on. But to lighten the mood, I try to make these daily activities into a sort of game where possible he added. In return for his tireless care, his students love him affectionately. He recalled how one child gave him a Spider-Man balloon on her own birthday, and another child lugged back a Spider-Man tumbler from Japan as a gift for him because they knew of his love for the Marvel superhero. It was a small gift but very heartwarming. It is so crazy how they are always thinking of me, even when they are in another country he said. The children's infectious enthusiasm also energizes Fernandez. There are some days, towards the end of the week, when my energy is drained. But there is something about the children where we teachers draw energy from them. If they are super hyper. We draw on their energy to bring out the lessons and make them more fun and creative, he said. He added that one of the biggest rewards of the job is how it brings out a childlike joy in him. The child in me is really very big now. At outdoor play, mealtime and routine time, when I talk to the children, every time I come to work, I feel like I'm back to being a child again. He laughed.